I think now government realizes ultimately that they are the primary agency to coordinate mm -hmm. and provide services. Yeah. We realize that UNICEF should not be implementing rather than try to support government yeah. to develop a common understanding, mm -hmm. common kind of, you know, the policies and then the strategy so that government lead the process and we add our contribution to the bigger, bigger picture. I cannot say that right now the government is 100% capable and, and legitimated to provide quality services across the country. Mm -hmm. Accountability issues are there, the corruption issues are still there. I mean, no, nobody denies, even government people, authority would not deny that we don't have corruption. They recognize the corruption is there from the grassroots level to the highest level. Yeah. But if, if donors start working together at all level, you also have an obligation to be more accountable. There are so many actors, mm -hmm. I, as I said, yeah. starting from community to the national level. Yeah. You got them around, let's say, around 100 stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And government has no clue which agency is doing, what kind of water and sanitation system in the district, in the districts and the communities. What we decided with the Ministry of Physical Planning and Works, which is our government entity to look after the water and sanitation, let's have a common platform. And this group, together, around 50, 60 people from different stakeholders from the NGOs, from the INGOs, UN, and then bilaterals and multinationals. So we come up with, okay, what has been achieved so far? What are the key challenges we are facing right now? What are the ways and means to overcome these challenges? So we need to push this idea of common, you know, what, working together for common what challenges we are fighting for, to provide basic services, and water and sanitation and saving lives of children, women, and then, you know, the, the underprivileged population.